The spotlight effect. We think everyone notices all of our failures. Everyone remembers that one time. Everyone is always watching you. Is it really the truth that no one has time to focus on their own life because they're all just too busy laughing, staring, pointing, and waiting for you or me to fail? The other day I was surfing out over there and I'm still learning the local surf etiquette and some of the basics and I felt like I was an absolute clueless kook out there and everyone was watching me Miss Waves being an absolute goober getting clocked by big swells. And then also every Friday I play beach volleyball. And over there, I'm 5'9 and I'm going up against these 6 foot plus guys. And also these absolute Hawaiian legends who've been playing since they were knee high to a grasshopper. And I'll get schooled on the net. And all I can think about is how much Everyone sees me missing points and missing shots and missing serves and that everyone sees me in the spotlight and remembers. Yeah, all those thoughts, not the truth. All those thoughts and feelings come from the spotlight effect. That's just not the way people are. It's a tendency for you to believe that everyone around you notices things they don't actually. There was a really neat study done at Cornell University to test the spotlight effect. The experiment had people wear an ugly shirt for a whole day. At the beginning of the day, they had to estimate how many people would notice their shirt. At the end of the day, they recorded how many people actually noticed the shirt. And a little less than half of the observers noticed the shirt. Imagine this, when you believe 20 people have seen you make a mistake, in reality, it's only 10. It's super important to fully understand the spotlight effect, especially when it comes to making you less self-conscious and more confident by reducing the effect. Because after all, it's just an effect, an effect that distorts reality. And here's how. We all experience the spotlight effect as a result of egocentric bias. That's the tendency for one to rely heavily on their own perspective, right? If you think about it, in your world, you are front and center stage, in the spotlight. In my world, I am front and center stage. And in their world, they are front and center stage, in the spotlight. And this makes sense because within our entire existence that we've been on this earth, we've only seen life from one perspective through our own lens. So how can we overcome this spotlight effect to be less self-conscious and more confident? Number one, to be aware of it. Yeah, I know it's super simple, but I'm telling you, just look around and notice how everyone else has their own lives to attend to. Every day, people are losing their jobs, getting rejected, getting cancer, not being loved back, going through divorces, going through war, everyone else is just too busy to spend so much time just waiting for one person to mess up. So just be aware of it. Number two, it ain't gonna last. One of my friends back in high school, he said, oh well, we'll all be dead in 70 years anyways. This too shall pass, right? Whatever is bad will pass. Whatever is good will pass. Problems you had five years ago are no longer your problems today. And problems you have today are not your future problems. Whatever you are going through now, whatever mistake you've made should not impact the way you live your life a month from now in both surfing and volleyball. I used to be the absolute worst. I was dropping in on other people's waves and then on the court I was missing serves every other time and not being able to return the easiest bump. But none of that lasted. My serves and returns are much better and I'm not as much of a kook anymore dropping in on locals in the pocket. Number three, change perspective. I imagine my predicament and what I do is I project it onto one of my friends. I think about how I would react if my friend was in that predicament. So if I was panicking because my fly was open up all day, 
I would switch roles and I would evaluate how I would respond to my friend if his fly was open all day. I think about it for a little bit and yeah, I'd probably say at first, that's really funny, but then I'd be like, bro, probably not many people saw and I guarantee you, they won't even remember tomorrow. Probably half of them have done the same thing anyways. Or if I was off during volleyball, I would just imagine my friend instead and I would imagine he was missing serves, blocks, and had poor volleys. And I'd envision myself and how I would be, and I would be an encourager to him. I wouldn't put him below me or put him in the spotlight. I'd understand that it was just an off day for him. Imagining my friend in my position and how I would interact as an observer helps me get over the spotlight effect. It's just a quick perspective check. Check your perspective. Number four. Be your unapologetical weird self. If you always feel like there is a spotlight on you and it's for you being you, you shouldn't have to apologize for that. Being normal is a societal construct we've created so society will perform within a general set of behaviors. So embrace your goofy laugh, your love for wearing strictly neon t-shirts and basket weaving. I believe this is so important. I'll tell you what the world does not need. It does not need a bunch of people to conform to a mundane standard. The world needs you to come alive and go do it, create it, be it. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. You are alive when you are your unapologetical, weird self. Anyways, those are the tips I have. Just be aware of it, relax a bit because even though it stinks in the moment, it doesn't last. Do quick perspective checks. And lastly, be your unapologetical weird self because that's how you come alive. All right, last thing about the spotlight effect before I let you go. It works both ways. Not as many people as you think will notice your super duper smart comment or your wicked Rabona playing soccer. This is why we would normally think that our bosses should notice our exceptional work we did the past week, but they just don't. So just take some extra time when it is appropriate to make sure people are aware of the positive things you do. Because the spotlight effect does happen in this way too. Only if you truly like the video, throw in a like for me, and if you are new to the channel, I would love it if you became a subscriber. It is the quickest way to grow the channel. Guys, thank you so much for watching and until next Monday, be good.